The Evernote Web Clipper is a great way to save content into your Evernote application. It's a simple extension to your web browser that allows you to capture anything that you're reviewing on a web page. That could be the full page, selected text, images, or anything else. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Some time ago, I briefly mentioned the Evernote Web Clipper here on my YouTube series, but I've been getting many more questions about the Web Clipper, so I thought it might be time to go back and do an in-depth look at how you use the Web Clipper. So the Clipper is available for Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, 7 Plus, Firefox, Opera, Microsoft Edge. I mean, you name it, it's available. You can get the Clipper at the website, evernote.com slash web clipper. So here's how you use it. First of all, you launch the web clipper in your browser. You click that little elephant in your browser toolbar to launch the clipper. Then you choose the type of clip you want. You can save the entire article with the article clip type. You can uh, remove all the, the side clutter from the web page if you uh, select simplified article. I use that one a lot. Or you can take a screenshot and annotate it with the screenshot clip type. Then you save the clip. Once you've clipped what you need, simply click the Save Clip button to save it to Evernote. If you want to organize your clip into a different notebook, you add a tag or a comment, and you can do that easily right before you clip. You can also annotate key information in your clip, capture screenshots of online contact, then select the annotate tool to highlight and add visual callouts such as arrows to direct attention to a specific element. You can also share your clip with others. Click the share button to share contact and discuss ideas with others, clip design ideas to share with your team or post event details on a team page. Now you can also use a web clipper on your iPhone because it's an extension for your browser. It doesn't just work directly in iOS, but there's a simple workaround. Try the iOS share feature using AirDrop. When you find something that you wanna clip into Evernote, click the up arrow at the bottom of Safari then click on the Evernote logo, and that will allow you to send the article or image into Evernote. I've got so many more ideas of how you can best use Evernote and structure it so it becomes your number one productivity system. It's all in my course, Evernote for Beginners. Check it out at my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, and click on Courses. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for joining me today.